What's going on guys? We're back here again today. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys as always for stopping in. So on today's video, we're back again with another OBD11 tutorial for Project Day 3. This time around, we're going to be improving the responsiveness of our all-wheel drive system within our OBD11 app. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so pretty straightforward. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and grab our OBD11 dongle, and we're gonna go ahead and plug that up to our OBD2 port. Then, of course, we're gonna put our car in the on position, but we're not gonna start the engine. From there, we'll go ahead and open up the OBD11 app on our smartphone. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started here with the tutorial. Once we've got our app opened up, we're all connected within our OBD11. We'll go ahead and go down to our little menu here, and we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to all-wheel control. And then we're going to go down to Adaptation. From here, we're going to go ahead and select Acoustic Measure Wiring Logic. Now you can see by default, it's going to say Standard. What we can do is we can go ahead and do Increased Traction, just to give ourselves more response out of our all-wheel drive system. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to hold down this check button. And you can see right there, adaptation accepted. All right, so very straightforward, pretty simplistic as far as going through those steps. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is hop in the car, take a drive, rip it around for a bit, and see if we notice any improvements. All right, guys, so we're taking off here. We've made our improvements with our OBD11 as far as using that increased traction function within our menus. So I think this should be interesting. I know there's been a lot of different talks of Haldex tunes, Haldex controllers, but this is something that's simple, essentially free, and we'll kind of get on a little bit and just, just see if we notice any improvements. So what I'll go ahead and do first, I'll do a little acceleration with the car as is, with traction control on, as it would be by default, and then I'll go ahead and try it in sport, as well as off completely. I mean, as it normally would behave, it's just that Quattro grip, man. Well, you know, Quattro, AKA Haldex, fake Quattro. <laughs> Some of you guys love to hate on Haldex. I mean, dude, it's just, it's just, it's so planted. I just don't feel any spin. All right, so everything's feeling really good so far. Excellent grip as I would expect. Let's go ahead and do another acceleration with traction control and sport. That thing just sticks. Wow. I mean, that really puts the power down. Quite impressive, actually. You guys, you just can't beat this for the money. I mean, OBD11, if you guys are any Mark 7 owner, any MQB owner, and you have not picked up an OBD11 scan tool, you're tripping, man. You're tripping. You gotta grab one. 60, 80 bucks. Just such an amazing selection of just fun little tips and tweaks and little things that you can just kind of kind of sneak in there and just make those those fine improvements now i know what you guys are thinking why not just get a, a haldex tune through united motorsports absolutely if you're going to autocross if you're going to track your car if you're drag racing you're getting really really serious about putting down massive power levels i'm with you go ahead and do a haldex tune but that's going to run you at least what 500 bucks i mean once again bang for the buck this didn't even cost any obd11 credits so i'm gonna have to say pretty much a no-brainer traction control completely off here we go full send <laughs> Ooh, i just passed an rs5 in nardo gray that's beautiful i mean what can i say there is no wheel spin guys no wheel spin front wheel drive mark 7 owners don't hate me don't hate me all right we can still be friends it's okay i'm pretty much blown away right now i'm honestly pretty amazed i i, I was thinking all right maybe just a little tweak here and there but bro like it's just it's not spinning dude like what what more can i say traction control completely off full send wow let's try from a little bit of a roll here That grip, though. Wow. It's beautiful. Especially.
especially coming out of a turn as well. I know sometimes, especially with front wheel drive cars or front wheel drive bias, all wheel drive systems, when you start to turn, it tends to want to get a little squirrely on those those front tires. So yeah, you guys can probably tell. I'm 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 pretty pumped, man. I'm pretty pumped right now. <laughs> Dude, it's insane. Like, what the heck? Dude, why did I do this sooner? <laughs> Bro. Alrighty, guys. So final conclusion here as far as making this upgrade with our OBD-11, improving our all-wheel drive system responsiveness. I got to say, I'm really impressed. Every driving mode, traction control on, sport, off completely. Everything gripped, hooked up very nicely definitely no issues putting the power down once again most of you guys mqb cars s3s a3 quattros golf r's you guys probably don't have any issues with your all-wheel drive system in their stock form but if you're making more power you got more gains you just want to maximize every little bit of extra grip bang for the buck to me it's a no-brainer you just can't go wrong and for anybody wondering what type of tires I'm running at the time of this video. I'm running Continental Extreme Contact all seasons, all the same, square setup, 235-35 R19. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today, guys. Make sure to hit the video with a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.